Hi everyone, this is David from Benchmark Technical Support. I'm out here today to do a range test to show you guys just how far you can expect to get with the new S631s from Hemisphere. Let's get going. <music> The first test I'm going to do is with the 1 watt internal Satel radios. I can show you right here what kind of settings I got. I have the, the power cranked all the way up on my base and I'm using the Satel protocol with forward error correction turned on. As we drive here, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about this test. We took the receivers outside of the city to the best possible conditions to get good range. Open top prairie, just to see what they could really do. Every three or four kilometers, we pulled over to the side of the road to make sure we could still get a fix and still get radio. And until we went over this little hill in the middle here, we were still receiving radio corrections inside of the truck. Right at the end here, we actually ran out of paved road and had to hop onto this dirt side road in order to, to get further. And uh, you'll see what it can do here. All right, I have a fix right here. If I walk 100 meters down the road, I won't have one anymore. And I now have a hill between me and my base. I'm 11.6 kilometers away from the base and I have a fix. I'm getting that off one watt internal Satel radios that are included in the S631s. Now obviously that test was with near perfect conditions and if you have very hilly terrain or a lot of trees, you aren't going to see this kind of range. But if you want to uh, maximize your radio range on your site, you want to set up your base station in a position that offers you great line of sight to the biggest part of your working area that you can find. Uh, if you can avoid any power lines over top of the base or trees, that's also ideal. If you need to go farther than 11 kilometers, you might need to get an external radio. So I brought one out today just so we could test the range on that one too. So now that we set up our external radio, we're using the Harkson 35 watt base radio that we sell. It can act as either a repeater or a base radio depending on what you need. For this test, we set our power output to 5 watts and uh, same radio settings other than that as the internal radio test. Uh, we've done the same thing. We drove straight out to the spot where we could get a fix on the internals, and then every couple kilometers after that, we'd hop out of the truck to make sure we could still get a fix. Um, and uh, you can see how that turned out here. All right, so I'm 18 kilometers from my base, and I seem to have run out of road to go any farther. You can see here I got a fix, pretty regular radio. So now you've seen what you can expect from the S631's internal radios versus an external radio at a much higher power. Uh, if you need the extra range, you might want to go with the external radio or look around your site. If you're just uh, out of range, you might want to look around your site for a better base setup spot. Uh, if you're in the city or you're in very hilly terrain but you have cell cover, you might also be able to use our Stormcaster service, which will give you infinite range no matter what the terrain. Uh, but that's all for today. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us online at www.bench-mark.ca. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.